actually. No, I'm trying to end my workout. I tried to end it like six times. Oh, I'm not cool. I don't have one anymore. Oh. Did you bust it? No wrestling mode. No, wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> no mine. I think I had one first. Yeah, you were the first to have it. Unless you had one. I had one. I, you've had, had one for years. years. Yeah. yeah. Except yeah, I had a really good one. Yeah, it's been two years. I was getting out of the shower. I think I was leaving the bathroom to go to my room, and I grabbed my stuff off the counter, and I thought it was securely like on top of my clothes, but when I grab That's it, like it that. falls face down right on the, oh, the tile, different. and it broke the face in the corner, but it still worked, but then I think I got water in it eventually, and it just and quit. It stopped working. And I haven't gotten a fix. I'm like, at this point, it'd just probably just be better to get a new just one. Get a new you one. know, even like humidity, like too much humidity can crap out. I don't know if it's all I, like smartwatches, smartphones, electronics. But I had like an iPhone in it. I put it in like a Ziploc bag to go take it into the ocean. And it was hot. Like even the water was warm, like 70, <laughs> 75 degrees. And Dang. then took it in there and like just quit on me it's didn't get any hot. water into the bag it's probably just too hot on it yeah it could yeah. be it's probably a bummer had all of our photos from like costa rica and everything i was like Ooh. documenting everything and so like all of my family they were like oh he's got it we don't have to yeah. and then he <laughs> wrapped out and i was like tough yeah well all the new stuff should be how old was the iphone an 11 oh, okay because so i know i know water lot, resistant yeah i know a lot of the new yeah. the new technology i mean Apple products, Samsung, Android crap. Well, it's, uh, it, that it's one's supposed to be waterproof, better. but it had a cracked screen. That's why I was oh, that's probably why. why. So then, yeah. I, I think d- there's uh, some water in the bag, and then I sealed it, got mm, hot, and, like, just spoiled it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know, like, as soon as you, as soon as anything breaks, it's, like, you lose a lot of that stuff. Just like throw rice water at resistance. Because I know, like, the new iPhones, and I think a lot of the new smartphones, you can, they're water resistant, for like so much time I, at a certain of, depth of so much depth i don't understand that yeah. i don't maybe like the pressure of the I water s- yeah. i don't understand the time Could one like i don't know maybe it just takes that long for the water to see i'm sure my guess is it lasts longer than that but that's the recommended time because it's like it probably can go for a little bit longer than that but they say that much longer it's, it's like, like the, the expiration time. date yeah yeah because yeah, exactly. it's like you know it gives you a little bit of a buffer because i mean i got when i got the iphone 8 you know, it was the first, like, water-resistant one. Mm-hmm. I wanted to test it out, and we were at, actually, Almquist's pool oh, with yeah. my family. I was like, well, I'm going to try it out. I took it out of the case. I'm like, well, here goes nothing. And I jump in, and I start recording. <laughs> <laughs> Hope this works. I took one, looked at it. I was like, okay, yep, it's good. And I dried it off, and I was like, okay, dry out. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try again. Back rice. Rice. <laughs> yeah. So, and I, I use it for two years after that, so. Yeah. But, yeah, I cracked that Apple watch screen. It, it, it now. Bummer. You need yep. to get a new one. I know. It's a racket. Cool. Should we get started? Yep. Go. Cool. I'm going to look at the camera. <coughs> hey, guys. Welcome back. 2023. New year. New us. You can tell by the redesigned logo, the all-new intro <laughs> music, and Tanner got a haircut. Pretty sure all of those are false, but uh, <laughs> welcome back. I, <laughs> I did get a haircut not too long ago. Nice. <laughs> I uh, had them uh, clean it up a little bit. Not oh. by much though. It's yeah. it's uh, I got, twenty dollars. I got a little bit, inch. but it was like no, don't use a trimmer. You know, just get a little shake in there. <laughs> a little, a little bit of lettuce. Yeah. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Never in your life. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, looking I to grow it that. out for that helmet hair. Yes, sir. Get that flow. Yes, sir. But yeah, we're going into uh, twenty twenty three. All excited. Enjoying Christmas break, will it last before school jumps in? You two have been full time students for a long time. Too yep. long. Yeah. Yep. Too Matt long. and I are just <laughs> just barely hopping big onto that train. When does I SEU start? SEU. It's January 9th. Did you okay. graduate high school? We're the same. Then? No. <laughs> no. I did well, a year of college did. and then I just haven't for a while. <laughs> I guess I did drop off the face of the earth for like two years. So makes sense. Yeah. Nice. Congrats. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, Matt's getting back into school. I. Uh, have done a semester. <laughs> 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 Playing lacrosse for two years now, though. <laughs> nice. What's up? <laughs> Good, sir. Yeah. Right on. We're going to be talking a little bit about some New Year's resolutions. Any of you guys have something you want to start with? I think the biggest one that probably 
I don't want to say a majority of people do, but a lot of people do that you see a lot of is like go to the gym mm-hmm. daily. Yeah. So because I know gym memberships spike in January. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So I I was actually talking to one of my coworkers the other day. He's like, it's crazy what happens on like even like December like twenty eighth mm-hmm. through the fifth. It's like no one's there. And then the first, just everyone's there. And then it just, like, slowly gets back to normal. And yeah. by, like, the 8th or ninth, it's normal yeah. again. See, that's why gyms are a great business model. Because you, know, you oh, spike yeah. at the beginning of the year and people forget and that they have. you in for the year plan. <laughs> you're like, yeah, and people forget that they have, like, a membership for who knows how long before they, like, oh, yeah, I've been paying for this and I haven't gone for six months. Yeah. So, and then you get people that actually go, like, religiously and, you know, gym rats and whatnot, like my sister. Love you, Sid. Love you. <laughs> Shout out. She probably won't listen to this. Probably not. She doesn't like us <laughs> enough. No, she doesn't. <laughs> I saw this this meme. It was like everyone that's like regular gym goers, mm-hmm. you just have to max out the first week. Like just to scare all of the New Year's res- resolutioners, <laughs> you know? So like everybody like on the first day you're maxing legs, then maxing chest, then maxing <laughs> curls and whatever just to like have people poop their <laughs> pants. like. So that, no. So then the people that come in are like, Wow, I'm I'm really bad. <laughs> yeah, they're see, like, I can't that, catch up, and then they just quit. And you have the empty they freaking see C bum in their local, their local gym. You guys know who C bum is? Mm-hmm. I, don't I don't know. know. Dude, look him up. He just oh, won. Is that he, the he just won. Long hair, this all like <laughs> <laughs> spit in the water. <laughs> no, this guy just won uh, Mr. Olympia again. Olympia, oh, I can't remember what it's called for uh, classic physique. Look that Chris Bumstead. He's he's got a oh, he's. C-bum. He's, he, yeah. yeah, just just look at him. You'll understand. <laughs> if you're into that, I know some people look at muscly people and they're like, oh, this is disgusting. But he's like, he's huge. Interesting. So. Oh, how does one spell that? Crisp. Uh, C? <laughs> bum. Just the letter C? <laughs> yeah. Because if you spell it S-E-D-U-M, it's some type of oil that gets in your skin. So I just saw a ton of zits pop up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah did no. you not know that? C B U M. C bum. Oh, he has his own line of pre workout. Well, I'm he not surprised. He's huge. Big. Yeah, I, I think can't he's get into pre workout. Three or four time Mr. Olympia winner. Something like that now. He just. Yeah, he's big. Yeah. I could take him. <laughs> no, you could. I think all four of us could. <laughs> just, just as well as you could take yeah. him. Yeah, maybe all it. four of us, <laughs> two on each leg, and <laughs> pop his kneecaps. Nah, you'd still wreck this horrid <laughs> <laughs> <Four in> time. <laughs> you think you can curl one of us? Oh, for sure. Oh, probably. Actually, I've heard that like during their shows and like stuff like that, they're actually <laughs> very weak. Really? Because they oh, they're don't flexing so much or well, something? No, 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 no. Because they dehydrate themselves so that their muscles pop out of their skin more. Right. And so like, not that they're super weak because they're still jacked. But right. that they in just, comparison. yeah, in comparison their, to their, their normal day, they are actually, like, very, like, nauseous and stuff like that. All, all that makes But, like, sense. you see the power lifters? They're, like, they're chunky boys. Oh, yeah. No, they're, they're massive. Yeah. Like, but they got fat on them, too. But right. then bodybuilders, like, they work so much f- to get the body percentage down yeah. that, and they don't even care about weight. They it's go all for technique. All for physique, To get the too. physique, right? Yeah. yeah. Then they're you get, like, for the strong men. Then for moving. Then you get the strong men. Mm-hmm. They're, they're big, big boys. They're heavy. That they're they're tall. Big around. They're yeah. huge. One they're of those guys could probably. <laughs> their lats are thicker than our heads. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure. But yeah, yeah. Exercise or going to the gym, I think, is probably one of the biggest ones. Yeah, I'd say so. That and well, yeah, just losing weight. Mm-hmm. Wait, by a show of hands, who here has in the past or this year set a goal that's weight related? I think that's all of us. Was yeah. yours to put on weight? Yeah. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, I knew you through all of high school. I was like, there's you've yeah. never tried to lose weight. No. It's tiny. Yeah. No, I need to. One of my things is going to the gym, bulking up just a little bit, not a whole lot, because mm-hmm. I don't really I care that bulk, much. You sit on your butt, watch TV all day. I mean, bread. I I try and do that. I just I'm too restless. I can't just sit yeah. there all day. <laughs> Honestly, like the the physical battle or like losing weight is more of a physical battle or no sorry sorry mental i'm saying battle. that backwards it's more of a mental battle like you have to eat right and you have to get up and be active mm-hmm. but 
putting on weight, that is just a physical battle. Because yeah. like, you've got to be religiously lifting and just pounding calories. And yeah. good calories, not just, yeah, like, not just um, crap food. Not just Eat. pounding Twinkies left and right. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. that, well, that's... I guess it depends on the type of weight you want to put on. Because if you want to put on bad weight, you can do that. If you want to put on good weight, well, it's if different. You're, if you're trying to get jacked, there's to begin with, there's no such thing as bad weight. Because you that's actually true. you actually gain more muscle when you are heavier. So like if you have yeah, fat, then on and off John, <laughs> two hundred pounds squat, baby. <laughs> well, I'm, s- I'm saying like I'm saying like <laughs> eating for bad like things. protein. Oh, right. Because if you're just eating Twinkies, it's not going to do anything good for your body because you're not really putting in the best into your body. Yeah. And you won't have good energy to then Yeah, it's yeah, I guess. calories, I guess you could say, or not the healthiest thing to eat. Well, the only reason I was saying it is because, like, people who are heavier, like myself, um, technically, <laughs> why did you <laughs> laugh? Like, silently laugh so much. Just the way you were like, like myself. Okay. <laughs> you were trying to seduce Tanner across the table. <laughs> like he hasn't known you for the last eight years. <laughs> it's not like he doesn't have a wife either. Bro, I have a video of you hoe dropping on a boat. I we forgot that, that exists. <laughs> <laughs> You're not back. supposed to I'll drop now. <laughs> You're not supposed to you say that. My wife doesn't know about no, that. No, you just have to do a voiceover of you like saying that. And As he's like, doing it. <laughs> I forgot about that. That was and a pal, right? No, yeah, nobody pal. say anything to Anna. And this is the test to see whether or not she watches her stuff. <laughs> no, she wa- she'll listen to it. And she'll be like, oh, then she she'll go look it up. Then she'll go look it she, up. Maybe. I yeah, mean, now that we've not. talked about it so much. Maybe. maybe. But um, what was I even saying? Oh, yeah. Like heavier guys. If, <laughs> if, if I go lift and like just like shred my muscle, as long as then I'm eating good. Then I'll put on muscle easier. Right, right. Then someone who's scrawny and has nothing on them for their body to use. Right. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like I had a roommate. He was like, he was pounding like we'd go to the mess hall, three plates at every meal, and he was right. like already a little bit bigger than I am, and he's like, I want to be jacked. I was like, push-ups. <laughs> I was like, you, you, you already got the like body fat yeah. transition. He's like, you're ready, dude. And he's like. I'm going to be huge. And he's just shoveling <laughs> food down. And I was like, this is not good food. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, they got more Nutella for my toast. <laughs> yeah. Like um, I saw for American Sniper, Bradley Cooper had to put on like, I want to say 40 pounds to play. I can't remember the dude's name in American Sniper. Do you guys remember? I can't remember what his name is. Well, like he met that's with. That's not the Jack Ryan one, is it? No. no that's no, 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 called no. Jack Ryan. No, that's yeah. Jack yeah, that's. That's John Krasinski. No, no. This is about one of like, the tru- based on a true story. Based yeah, on a yeah. true story. And Bradley Cooper met with this guy's family because he he passed before the movie, I think, got released or before they started. Anyways, okay. he met with this dude's dad and he's like, "You look nothing like my son. He's, you're way too small." So I think he needed to put he's on. Like, if you're gonna represent my son, you're gonna be like, jacked with He you had to it. put on like a bunch of weight in like a short period, like within a month. Dude, right, he went hard. Eating like crazy, working out all hours of the day, stuff like that, and put on a bunch of weight super, super quick and got ripped for the job. That's crazy. So It's crazy how like actors honestly just dedicate their bodies to it, you know? Christian Bale, he's another one that yeah. mm-hmm. goes hard for his roles. Yeah. I mean, they got the time to do it. That is their job. Yeah, this they're getting true. paid to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I got paid to go to the gym, whoo. You see me there every day. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Another common resolution a lot of people have is, like, financially, like, saving for different stuff. One of my managers just, like, pulled me aside and was running some numbers, just, like, pointing out how much you can make and, like, save for retirement and how important it is to start saving now. Yeah. Because, like, you start saving at 21, you save 50 bucks a month. Or, like, even better, you, like, max out your whatever it is. Roth IRA. Yeah, your IRA. Roth Roth IRA. Or traditional. No, Roth. Roth one's better. Roth is well, better. Which Roth one do you get taxed which on one now, taxes you on? Future. Which one? Right. So with a Roth IRA, you're taxed as you contribute to it. So when you pull it out, it's tax free. It's tax free. Yeah. Traditional, you put it in, you're not taxed on it. But as you take your distributions or whatever on it, then you are right. taxed on what you take out. So as younger guys, as you're starting out in your working industry and your career, start a Roth IRA because then you're starting earlier. Then you're already getting taxed as so you're putting it in. 
max contribution right now is six thousand dollars a year that you can put in mm -hmm. most people get close to that not completely max it out but a lot of guys do max out that and then when you're 55 60 whenever you want to retire then you're tax free and you have you let it sit there and get Bro. your interest and everything you've earned off of it and then you can just pull as you want you'll have a million plus dollars i mean oh, if you're maxing out from the age so like 40 years 20 to 60 you max out six grand you'll have like you are four pulling out like three hundred thousand plus a year to live off of for like 20 plus years like it's yeah until it's, the day you die yeah and then there's always some left over because with those roth iras you just have so much just sitting there that you just can't know what to do with like and 300 grand like you're old what are you doing you know a lot with you well you can like a get a travel. six month cruise that takes you to all seven wonders of the world for like 50 grand oh dude not even that i'd do you, that that'd be you so buy sick a cabin on a cruise ship my yeah. dad told me about this guy where there's like this cruise ship that you could like buy a room pretty much just goes around the world nonstop mm -hmm. for the most part and just lives off of it right and this guy gets hired on by these rich people and these rich people don't necessarily live on the boat but they have like a cabin and they'll fly into wherever it's at port they'll hop on they'll stay on it for however long they want to they'll get off wherever and then they'll fly back to wherever they want to go right mm -hmm. but they always have a room available on this boat that just keeps going all around the world and my dad was saying that he knows this guy that like works for this company and i think now he just works for a single guy and this guy like when he was working for the boat company mm -hmm. he would take people to golf courses in these port cities at wherever they were at he'd go and take these rich people golfing right and this one guy i guess liked him enough that now pays his salary you know pay, pays him a yearly amount and then whenever he wants says hey i want to go golfing here come with me flies him out to wherever it is tips him like crazy pays for all of his travel i think pays for his family to come to all this other stuff just so he can go golfing with him for you know play 18 holes or something like that or a couple that's rounds crazy. over a weekend and that's it and he, he works pretty much like never and then he gets to go golfing in like the craziest places all over it. yeah he gets the story being good to people yeah like a yeah. person yeah which I, how do you look into that be lucky. And moral of the story is yeah. be lucky. <laughs> pretty much. Luck has right place, right time. Pretty <laughs> yeah. much. Luck has a lot to do to do with it, but I think that goes into another resolution is just being a better person in general. I feel like it's just a better. Yeah. How, how do you do that though? How do you like be a better person? Because I know like because there's like the smart goals where you have to break it down and like find mm -hmm. a way yeah. to do it. Yeah. Well, so how do you measure that? You just make sure like one thing that I like tell myself is if i just make sure that in this interaction i'm a good person then throughout the day and i just keep doing that throughout the day by the end of the day people are going to see me as a good person even if i'm a jerk in one interaction like the general synopsis is that i'm a good person so like just constantly like thinking to yourself like would i appreciate if something if someone did this to me and like doing stuff like that that's just all it takes and making sure that you're focusing on every interaction or like every instance because if you're not you're just going to be like oh i'm a good person i did this this one time and you're not thinking about the the, the general the like yeah the it's the one. exactly if you're not focusing on every single one it's like the the saying um you're not the rich, exception no rich people <laughs> count their or if you want to be rich count your pennies not your dollars because, you know, if you're going to be rich, you have to focus on every single thing rather than just being like, oh, well, I've got I've got money. Same thing with being a nice, like a, being a better person than you already are. If you want to be a better person than you already are, mm -hmm. you just got to focus on literally everything. Because once you focus on everything and like every interaction that you're having, if you're being a good person in every one, then you're going to be a good person. Yeah. Kind of yeah. just like putting others before yourself. Yeah. Or have you trying ever to like start that? had the thought? You like, I don't know, like even something like putting away someone's shopping carts. Like I'll be walking back to my car or like putting mine away. And I walked past this like just one that was left out. Huge pet peeve of mine. I but hate it. I, for yes, sure. I've seen people like some people just carry zip ties. So they zip tie it to the person's <laughs> car <laughs> or they just go and put it right behind them when they're trying to back out. I don't know. So funny. That's but funny. I'll like walk past and like I see one and I'm like, 
somebody else's problem. Someone gets paid to do this, you know? And then I go and I see another. And then, like, I've had, like, the thought of, I could use some good karma. And I, like, <laughs> turn around and go put them back. And I'm like, nice. <laughs> then I'm like, all right. Where right, right, right. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so one of my favorite resolutions to set, and this one, like, wasn't even a goal. Just kind of lucked into it. But just, like, traveling. Like, to set a goal, like, I want to go to this place, or it can be, like, kind of financially connected, like, yeah. save enough money to go here. But, yeah, what are, do you guys have travel goals for this year? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do, I guess? I mean, mine are kind of long-term goals and just kind of crazy stuff that, like, go to all the national parks and stuff, like, or visit all 50 states, like. I want to go bowling in all 50 states. That would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Like, just get, stuff like that. Have you guys but. seen that guy on TikTok, the 50 states, 50 dates, or 50 dates, 50 states guy? Uh -huh. This dude, I want to say he's starting season three or whatever. I'm not sure if that means he's done it two times already, but this dude has gone on a date, at least one date, in every state. Hmm. And he, he did, like, a, a video where he showed every girl from, like, the states that he went on. Mm -hmm. I was like, dude's got some game. Like I saw a picture of him. I thought he's he was not. Say, dude's got a type. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Though. He does. He does. Though. Yeah. He does. Though. He does. Though. Like they all kind of look fairly similar. Some of them, you're like, oh, that doesn't look like everyone else. Mm -hmm. Like that's a little Surprise bit different. You once in a while. Yeah, and you're like, oh wow, that they're not like everyone else. Like maybe he doesn't have necessarily a type or you and know. And then maybe... it goes the next fifteen, and you're like, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, but I'm like, have... this guy's not the most attractive. Like he was, he was decent. He was probably like an average looking guy. Mm -hmm. With some of these girls, I'm like, dude's got some game. I don't Keep know what ball. I don't know what he's doing to get <laughs> these girls out Riz. there. But. <laughs> he's got hundred charisma, but <laughs> but you yeah, know that's that I've wanted that goal too to go to all fifty states too. I think that'd be sick. I'm fifty yeah. percent already. You're already at fifty. Okay, cool. Nice. Tw Good. I'm at twenty. I've Good visited job. twenty-five states. Have you actually done stuff in them, or is it like, oh, you I got off through. of a plane C there? Couple, couple of them I've just drove through. I mean, Kansas. What is there really to do in Kansas? What, we've like, been what, through Kansas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what counts, though, is being to the state, though. Because you can yeah. drive through it. Like, I've drove through Arizona, like, a gazillion times. If you've but driven I've also been through the strip. length of it, like, Kansas. I went through the whole thing. Yeah. Then like, that counts. And I've end. driven out to Florida and back around. So, like, I've hit in all of the southern states and mm -hmm. then half the Midwest. I would count those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But have I mean, you bowled oh. and all? <laughs> I have not bowled. I'm at, like... Most of the Western, I'm at, like, I think Washington, for sure, California, Nevada, I think Arizona, Utah. Hopefully you've been to Utah. Colorado, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Six is a good start for not having the goal yet. Yeah. Because, like, I've been to Georgia. Oh, maybe Florida. Technically, I've been to Georgia. I've been to the, I had a layover a couple years ago. Me and my family went to Florida for Christmas, and we had a layover in Georgia in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So would you guys consider that no. counting? Because we were there for a few hours. But I think if, if you don't you leave go the airport, do something, sure. Yeah, but okay, if you're yeah. in the airport, no. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of which, we just booked our trip over to like Italy and everything. Lucky. And we're just like looking at it, like looking at flight times. Instead of trying to get the short ones, we're getting the longest ones as possible. We've got a 24-hour layover in Norway. So we just got a free that day is in actually Norway. Super How cool. baller of okay. a move is that? That's and then on the way smart. home, we're doing... 15 hours in london and another 13 in toronto that is so actually we just got really like, smart so we're hitting seven countries and like actually getting to do stuff in seven yeah, countries that's smart i'm yeah. so stoked the only thing though is how much time does it take to get through security like back in especially international security yeah, yeah sometimes it's like two three hours couple hours so it's like that's something you got to take into consideration like yeah you can leave as you've got so much time i'm sure you'll be able mm -hmm. to get out and go do something at least one thing but it's yeah. like you got to plan a little bit yeah. A little and bit the, more on the, the first international in. one is going to be Norway. Where we're going to have the entire day. Right. So that, like, that's more than enough time. Yeah. So that'll give us a good gauge for how long it takes on the others. Right. Because that'd be a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> you get stuck in Norway. <laughs> yeah. Dang, that's Oops. actually a really good idea. <laughs> but Not yeah, sure I'm super Norway. stoked for it. I've heard of people that will buy, like, say they're going from L.A. to, I don't even, a small town in Georgia. Mm-hmm they'll buy a ticket to that small town in Georgia because it's actually cheaper to just get like not get on the plane from Atlanta to the small town. Yeah, hop off on a layover. Yeah, and then just, oh, yeah, just stay I've, from there. I have like, like direct flights. 
Just well, suppose like, you're doing like direct flights, you get one that's a connecting in the city you want to go to, and you just yeah. you miss mm-hmm. your flight. Yeah, I've seen that too. Yeah, they have apps that like find that for you, so you can find the cheaper deal, and then it's just like, you have a ticket to New York, don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Unless you want to pull a Kevin McAllister, you know, and Home Alone Paris. 2. Yeah. Instead of going yeah. to Paris, you go to New York. Yeah. <laughs> Is Home Alone a Christmas movie? No. It well, takes place. It takes place on Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. The first two take place on Christmas or Christmas Eve. I don't count the other ones after two. I just don't. Well, that's because number three is interesting. Is three? Three's better than four. Yeah, there's. I believe they released four. the fifth one as well. Number oh, four is super weird because it's it's Marv again, but wait, I've never. What seen are their the names? One. What are their names? It's Marv and Henry. I don't know. No. It's a shorter. <laughs> it's a shorter guy that pretends to be be the police officer, right? Anyways, yeah, he's in it, but he's got like a love interest, or it's like his girlfriend's with him that's breaking into this house where this dude, his parents are divorced, something like that. He goes to spend the holiday with his dad. His dad lives in a super mansion, smart house thing, and hmm. super cheesy. Should not have made it. Number three though is better than before. I don't mind number three. Okay. It doesn't. It's not the same oh, yeah, no, characters I've, I've as three. one and two. Yeah. But I mean, Scarlett Johansson's in it when she's young, so that's kind of interesting to see. Yeah. Other than that, it's like it's that. not actually a horrible movie. As a sequel, it doesn't live up to the other ones, but, but like as a standalone, movie. no, it's not. Because for I, me, I consider the first just one. this season. I like heard people referring to it as a Christmas movie, and I was like, "What the heck?" Because like for me, it was the movie you watched at Grandma's house. Yeah, because we yeah. didn't have it, and she did. So anytime we went up to like yeah. Salt Lake, going to watch Home Alone. Right. But I don't yeah. think it is because like yeah, it takes place in Christmas. But nothing is discussed about Christmas except for his family leaving. Right. Yeah. Well, then he like makes a wish saying, oh, I wish I was with my family or something. At least in the second one, he says, I just want to be with my mom again. And she's yes. like, oh my gosh, but Kevin. On the same grounds, I heard someone make a claim, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Bruce Willis said it was not. <laughs> yeah. he, he said that this year. He said Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. All right. There it is. Sorry. Friend of my aunt. <laughs> well, I do not know, but you're wrong. <laughs> but I did see that if Die Hard is a Christmas movie, it's the Christmas special of Harry Potter number one or something like that because it's the main character is hiding from Alan Rickman running around inside of a tower. All right. And that I happens know. in the Sorcerer's Stone actually, or Philosopher's I heard a claim Stone. That people were saying Harry Potter's Christmas themed because I've been there's a that. Christmas is celebrated in every movie or every book. Happy Christmas. Yeah. Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I've got presents. <laughs> got presents. <laughs> Ron could have pulled a sneaky one on him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no <laughs> invisibility <laughs> cloak could have been Ron's. <laughs> <laughs> Bummer. Cool. Well, happy New Year to each and every single one of y'all. Um, hope it's a good one. Hope you don't blow it. Uh, it started off on the right foot. Catch you next time. All right. Bye. <laughs> Adios.